What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change out the CVT fluid on your Honda transmission. This is gonna be the same process on any Honda. Today we're gonna to be working on a CRV, but it'll be the same on Civic, Accord, Pilot, Passport, Fit, any of your Honda models. All right, let's get to it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is put it up on some ramps. This is gonna make things easier. I guess you could go ahead and jack it up if you wanted, but ramps makes it so much easier. Okay, then you're gonna wanna put it in park and put the emergency brake on. You're gonna wanna chalk the back wheels. And whenever I use ramps, I like to put jack stands underneath just for extra safety. Okay, to gain access to the transmission drain plug, we gotta go underneath the car and actually remove a cover first. We have this silver tin metal cover. There's a couple Phillips head screws right here on the front. Then you've got six of these clips, these half turn Phillips clips. To remove it, we'll start in the back. There's a couple of these 10 millimeter bolts. Maybe there's just one. And then in the front, there's these Phillips. I think there should be three of these, but it looks like the service person who did the work on the car last lost one of them, it seems like, from the dealer. They're just half turned, so you just have to turn them halfway counterclockwise and then they drop down. And we should be able to pull back and remove this metal tin cover. Set that out of the way. So, if we look right here on the driver's side, this is going to be your transmission pan. This funny little bolt right here, that's going to be the transmission drain bolt. And then above it, there should be a little 12 millimeter bolt somewhere. That's going to be the check bolt. We only need to remove this bolt to drain the fluid. This bolt, you take out and what you do is when you fill it up, once it starts to drain from this, that's when you know it's full. But I'm gonna be showing you guys another little trick and method to refilling it. So we're not gonna take this check bolt out. If you do the check bolt method on refilling, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the vehicle is level. So if you have the front on ramps, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the back is leveled out too. So this bolt actually uses a 3 8 extension to loosen it. So I've got a breaker bar I'm gonna use with the 3 8 extension on the end. I'll make sure I put links down in the description to all the tools I'm using today for you guys. These things are pretty tight, so you need some leverage. There we go. Once you break it loose, we're gonna go ahead and put our bucket or drain pan underneath and slowly take the drain plug out and let that baby drain make sure you hold on to your drain bolt i'm just gonna let this drain all the way out until it comes to a drip now, i do want to mention there is no filter needed to change on this for normal servicing there is a filter on some of the vehicles that you can change but with normal servicing you really don't need to change that go ahead and check out the drain bolt while that drains now this is a special magnetic drain bolt this is magnetic right on the end to catch any metal fragments or fragment pieces or anything we can go ahead and wipe it off look that black stuff is very small metal fragmentation no big pieces or anything that's nothing to worry about it it was like this the first time i changed it too so what kind of fluid are you going to want to refill this with is you're going to want to use special cvt transmission fluid you're going to want to use specific honda transmission fluid this is the hcf-2 transmission fluid you're only going to want to use the honda fluid don't get any aftermarket one these Hondas are really finicky about their transmission fluid. So you can either pick this up at the dealer or I'll go ahead and put some links down in the description to some of this for you guys as well as the other tools I'm using today. This 2017 CRV uses 3.9 quarts on the refill for front wheel drive and it uses 4.5 quarts if you have the all wheel drive model. If you have another vehicle, a Civic or a Cord, you're gonna to wanna to check your service manual or the dealer will give you that exact amount that you're gonna need. And if you check out the drain bolt, there's a little crush washer on it, a little uh, aluminum crush washer. You can go ahead and replace this each time or at least every couple times. I usually pick one up and that just slips right on there. That's what's gonna do the sealing for this transmission bolt. Once that comes to a slow drip, we'll put our drain plug with new crush washer back on. We're gonna hand tighten that. 
give it a wipe down. Now you can just go ahead and tighten that drain bolt. It's spec to 36 foot pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and use my torque wrench. I like to do that. You don't have to, but I'll just go ahead and torque it to spec 36 foot pounds. There we go. So it's not that tight. You can do it by hand without a torque wrench. Okay, now we need to refill it, but we gotta find the fill plug. So you're gonna wanna hunt around. On this vehicle, it's towards the driver's side. There's a little vent plug down here, and it's rubber. Just go ahead and pull that out. It will have a tag on it that says HCF-2. That's how you know it's the transmission plug. It's just a rubber plug you pull up. Now Honda switched to these CVT transmissions starting in 2014. So if you have a 2014 and newer model Honda, you're gonna wanna be doing this. Now how often are you gonna wanna do this? I'd say between 40 to 50,000 miles of regular driving. If you do any sort of hard driving, like you're towing a lot with your vehicle, I'd bump that down to around 25,000 miles. And you're gonna wanna pick up one of these long transmission funnels. We can put it down there. Now you're gonna wanna take your old transmission fluid and you're gonna wanna get a clear container, preferably. Okay, so then we can take our funnel out and now with this clear container we can take a sharpie and we're just going to go ahead and mark on it the line where the top is now we know exactly how much fluid came out now we know exactly how much fluid we have to pour back in okay now we can dump that jug into our recycling container you're going to want to make sure that you take this to your local hazardous waste facility or a lot of auto parts stores will take this to recycle for free. Please recycle responsibly. These fluids are very bad for the environment. Okay, so now we can take our new jugs and we're just simply gonna fill up our container that we marked to that mark on the top. And this is the last one. Should be a little less than this fourth quart. Hopefully, if we measured right. Okay, then we're just going to slowly pour in that measured amount of transmission fluid. Do it slowly because you don't want to overflow it. Okay, we'll go ahead and pull our funnel out. Then we're going to take that little plug. It doesn't screw in or anything. You just press it in. That's it. Okay, now we got a slide back underneath and we're gonna put that cover back on. It actually slides into the front first. And then put that 10 millimeter in the back to hold it. And then it's the same process as before, but in reverse. While you're buttoning up that cover, you can go ahead and check the drain bolt to make sure it's not weeping or leaking. Because if it is, you can go ahead and snug it up a little bit more to stop that leak. Okay, so make sure you remove those wheel chocks in the back, the jack stands underneath, and we're going to go ahead and start it up. And take off the parking brake. And what we're going to do is we're going to run down the gears and we're going to hold it in each gear for around two to three seconds what that's going to do is that's going to allow the cvt uh, transmission fluid to circulate through all the little nooks and crannies inside their transmission just do it all the way down and then all the way back up And we can go ahead and slowly take it down off the ramps and what you're gonna want to do is the first time you drive it just drive, drive it a little slow the first time around the block or whatever make sure everything is working as it should you have no warning lights on your dash or anything like that and you're going to be good to go hopefully you guys found something in this video helpful if you did give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and click the notification bell that really helps me out Thanks for watching Johnny DIY. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Keep on doing it yourself, guys. Take care.